Hey YouTubers, it's Papacito here coming to ya. Uh, today is a follow up video. Uh, the video I posted yesterday, uh, my battery died and so I couldn't complete the, the, the session. So I just wanted to go over some of the coins that I received yesterday and uh, so you could see what, what I got. And then uh, maybe you guys could help me out in giving me uh, some advice on a couple of coins that I don't know where they're from or what they are. Uh, but anyway, the first one that I really like and proud of is this proof half dollar 61. Absolutely beautiful condition. I got a few of these, and I got them for under a spot, so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't say no. Then, uh, the 62. Isn't that just beautiful? So how can you turn down a deal like that for under a spot? And then, uh... This is the other one I got under a spot. If I could just get it here, sorry. This is the one here. And I was told by somebody it came out of a proof set. But I really don't know. I know it's 9999 silver, four nines, with uh, 24 karat gold around it and in the middle of it. But, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, a beautiful coin. So, what I'd like some advice on is this particular coin that I'm about to show you. You can tell me what it is. Uh, I've never seen it before. It's a U.S. coin, obviously. Proof. Beautiful, just a beautiful coin. I just never saw that coin before. So that's the one, the first one I need some info on. And then the second one I need some info on is this bad boy. Now I know it's called the quarter that never was. And, uh, you know, there's an actual gold quarter right on it, stuck to it somehow, I guess. I don't know. But uh, it's uh, over two ounces, I think. Yeah, well, it's it's really big, um, and I'll I'll show you a, a comparison. But uh, just beautiful. Look at that. Here's a comparison with a half dollar, so you get a better, better, better understanding of it. It's just huge, huge coin. So if you guys know anything about this, uh, you know, let let me know. Send me a message, so uh, I can find out uh, if I got a good deal on it or not. It only cost me forty bucks. So, you know, even even without the pneumatic value, it's still way under spot. And then the next thing I want to talk to you about is a fellow uh, silver watcher there on my blog uh, wanted me to show you, do a video of just these, these they're really tokens, you can't call them coins, they're really tokens. Uh, they came out of the Las Vegas tokens. And the guy that I bought them from had to remove them from, from like he removed the inner part from the outer part. And uh, I don't know what he did with the brass outer shell, but it, this is what's left. And I took a couple of these and did an acid test. And they, uh, they all proved to be 999 silver, so checked it all with a magnet. So they're definitely all... Uh, all okay, but 
you know, I don't know if there's, uh, you know, if it, I don't know if it really changed the value or not, because, uh, well, here, I'll give you an example. Um, in that order that I purchased yesterday, I got one that's complete, like this, right? But this one still has a brass shell on it. And actually, I got this for even, yeah, I got this one too for under spot. This one cost me $17. And uh, it's got 21 grams of uh, 999. So, you know, I, <laughs> I can't beat that, see? This goes like this. And that's how you would normally see it. But the guy that I bought it from removed it. Removed this outer shell here. So, just wanted to show you that. A few different styles, like here, this is the Harris. And then, uh, got the Trump. Bellagio. And actually, these coins here have a lot of detail. I mean, some of them are just really nice. The Riviera. Of course, they probably got tons of fingerprints on them, but, you know, whatever. Silver, silver, right? So I've come to the conclusion that really silver collecting is is a personal is a personal thing because uh, there's a lot of people collecting different ways and everybody has advice on how to collect. But when it comes right down to it, it's whatever makes you feel good. There's nothing specific that you have to collect. Um, you know, in my case, like these, these tokens here, they're, uh, three quarters of an ounce, I believe, and, uh, you know, I think, I think should, if the shit ever did hit the fan, I think these, uh, these coins would be easier to, 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 to sell, um, you know, for example, like Mike Maloney, who's saying that it, He's looking at $1,500 an ounce silver. Well, how many people are going to have $1,500 an ounce to buy these? So, you know, I think it'll be easier to buy one of those or a half ounce than a full ounce. But, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, if I'm way out there or not or... That's just my personal preference. So, uh, I'm going pretty heavy on, uh, on half ounce coins. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I just think it'll be easier to move. Plus, you can, uh, when it comes time to resell, you, you get, uh, you get double premium anyway. You get the premium for one half, and you get the premium for the other half. So in the end, you probably make more money. Because uh, right now you can buy half half ounce coins um, from a, a few different mints for fifteen dollars for, for each half ounce. So you know the premium is not that high. I mean, just a few weeks ago, it was thirty six dollars an ounce. So. Let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and I uh, always look forward to your advice and your comments. Don't be shy. Let me know. You won't hurt my feelings. So, this is Papacito out.